Hello and welcome to Kibbe Tutorial. I'm basically going to show you guys how to shrink your FLP size. Uh, FLP being the file that Fruity Loops save for your beats. It should work. Uh, this this is Windows XP, but it should work for Windows Vista and Windows 7. Uh, anyway, here we go. Basically, you want to go to the file or folder. Go to the file folder for um, your beats. Mine is conveniently stored in Kit Beats, you know, located in subdirectories, as you can see here. And Windows XP, you just want to go to search, type in the asterisk, which is Shift 8 on your keyboard, dot FLP. The asterisk is really a, a wild card to let the computer know that you want to search for all files ending in dot flp it doesn't matter the file name before that's basically what the wild card is for right here so anyway just do a search and as you can see they're different size you know they, they put up all my beats and they're different sizes so you want to sort from the greatest size to lowest size and as you can see here our check 193 is 20 megabytes which is not going to fly so I'm gonna just go ahead and open open it in Fruity Loops. And yes, you probably have to go through each one of your files. Say for instance if you wanted to go do all these the same way, just to just to give you a heads up. Anyway, it's my Fruity Loops here. And you're not gonna be able to see it because my screen is not recording over here, but yeah, so basically what happens is I usually record in the Edison, in the Edison as you can see, in the Edison I usually record in the Edison, and I have a WAV file, of course, it's still there. So basically, <clears throat> when you're using the Edison and you're recording, uh, if you don't clear it out or delete the Edison, whatever is saved, whatever waveform is saved in the Edison is going to save to your FLP file. That's just a tip. So basically what I'm going to do to get rid of this, I'm going to just, just remove it, replace it with none, and that's it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and save this, and this is rtrack193.flp, so I'm going to save this now. And go back to the folder and let's see what we got. Come on with the minimize. What's up? Can't minimize? Anyway, there's always alternate ways of doing things. So I'm going to go back to the search results and click search again. Remember, this is our track 193, which is 20 megabytes. About 20 megabytes or so. So I'm going to search again. And let's search for the R track 193. which is right here and as you can see it's down to 92 kilobytes so that saves a lot of space for you if you're gonna you know if you're making a lot of beats it saves a lot of space to go through them and figure out if you need to you know adjust the sizes or what have you I didn't notice at first for a long time but when I figured it out the more beats I make and I record too in Fruity Loops because it does sound pretty good I um I just go ahead and go through them and, and remove the Edison. Um, anyway, I think that concludes this tutorial. I think I'm gonna create another tutorial as how to how to back up your FLPs or the best way to back them up and how to go about doing that. Anyway, that concludes it. Again, I know I said that already, but uh, thanks for watching.